All right, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Andrea Schubert's Snowboard Channel, where tonight we're gonna to be talking about the 2022 Solomon Dance Hall. I was recently lucky enough to pick one of these boards up and uh, I've been riding it a couple days now. Took it out on a beautiful sunny day with my buds on Black Home Mountain. I was really impressed by how versatile this snowboard is. You know, this is kind of like Solomon's answer to that short, wide craze phenomenon that's going on in the snowboard industry. We're seeing a lot of boards that are going to that wider category so that you can get bigger boots on it and you can undersize the overall package just slightly. When you go to a little bit of a wider category board, you're getting more surface area under your foot so you can shrink down the overall length of the snowboard. So this board is designed to be undersized. I personally bought it in the 157 and I'm around 212 pounds. This board is also a unisex board. So they're offering it in both men and women's sizes. It comes in both a 143, a 147, a 152, and a 157. So me being a heavier set guy, I went for the larger size and that's what I'm gonna want for uh, stability and float. This kind of shape and dimension is kind of indicative to that craze that you know we see both in the Orca or the K2 Excavator or the Ride Warpig, for example. All of these boards are going to a wider category so that they become a little bit shorter and are super agile. And so Solomon has sort of tackled that, uh, that category of the market. But unlike uh, the Orca, for example, that has similar dimensions, this board is a dominant camber underfoot. It still feels a little bit more classic. It still feels like a really uh, smooth ride when you're just carving around. So the dance hall uses Solomon's Rock Out Camber Profile. It's their most popular and most versatile camber profile that they use. Essentially, between the inserts, the board is flat, and that flat zone is designed to be very stable and consistent feeling. Then outside of the binding inserts, we get into an aggressive camber that lips down nice and hard, giving you that stability, that pop, and that uh, responsiveness out of the snowboard that you want when you're carving or when you're landing jumps. And then in the tip and the tail, we move to rockered sections that are a little bit more pronounced when the board is fully weighted. You guys can see here that although the contact points look like they're right here in the nose, when you weight the board, it actually lifts up and those contact points come back about an inch, giving you really good flotation in the front of that board and also making it initiate nice and easily. This board is using Solomon's radial side cut, which means that it's one consistent radius the whole way through the turn of the board. And that makes for a really consistent, flowy, continuous feel when you're bringing the board into a turn and going back and forth between your toe and heel edge. You know, unlike a lot of other brands nowadays that are using a bunch of edge tech, kind of like how LibTech uses magnet traction or Yes uses mid bite or under bite, this board just has that one continual side edge. And so it feels super smooth and uh, feels very consistent and predictable when you're bringing it into a turn. The overall turning radius of this board is about seven meters, depending on the size that you buy. Again, that's a pretty tight turning radius. It makes it super nimble and agile for when you're going through tight areas like the trees or moguls, but still long enough that it holds stability when you're going fast. Even though the side cut of this board is a radial side cut that feels very traditional and classic, it is still using some edge technology. What they've done is they've actually beveled the edge about one degree in the tip and the tail. And then as you get closer to the center of the board, that bevel goes to a two degree bevel, giving it a little bit more bite in the center of the board. So as you're bringing the board into a turn, it's still nice and easy to initiate. It's a little bit looser bringing it into the turn, but then as that board really lays over, it gets a lot of grip and it really bites into the snow as you're uh, getting deeper into the actual side cut of the snowboard. So the more you lean this board over, the more it wants to hold on. Again, making it really nice for those deep hard arcing carves. You can really lay in an edge and feel stable and consistent on that edge. This board is using their Popster core profiling. What that means is that the actual core of the board is profiled thicker and thinner depending on where you need it. So underneath your actual binding inserts, the board is thicker 
and that thicker section gives you more power and a little bit more response. And then just outside the binding inserts, the core gets a little bit thinner and it almost acts as a hinge for this board to flex more consistently and more naturally. Once we actually get to the middle of the board, the center of the board is actually the thickest again. So again, making it feel nice and stable, giving it a lot of power. And then in the tip and the tail, it goes nice and thin again so that you get easy butterability and it's nice and maneuverable in the tip and the tail. Inside the core of this snowboard, we're getting an Aspen wood core. Aspen is great for just feeling very consistent. It's lightweight and it's durable. Plus it's got a lot of pop still. You get a lot of snapback from an Aspen core. And then also inside the core, we're seeing two of their ghost basalt streamers that are running vertically down the center. And what that's designed to do is just give the board even more snapback and even more pop. So it feels really lively. So it's a really good package for a lot of response, poppiness. You know, I felt that it was nice and compliant under my foot. Definitely has more of a freestyle flex to it. So although the board is shaped like a free ride board that's better for carving and for powder, the actual flex of the board is really fun and springy. So you can still take this board into the park. It's still really fun to do butters and presses on this board and you can still go off side hits, no problem. So if you're planning on bringing that freestyle element to all mountain riding, there's no problem with this board, you know, taking it into the backcountry to do some tricks with. This board is using a softer to medium flex profile. So I would call it maybe like a 4.8, five out of 10 in its flex category. That makes for a board that's super snappy. It's really fun to ride. It feels really flexy and compliant under your foot. So you can really make this board do what you want it to do. You know, it's not an overly demanding board to ride. It's a great party lapse board because anybody can just jump on it and have a good time. I think whether or not you're a full blown expert or just a, you know, intermediate level snowboarder, this board has a really big sweet spot. So it's really fun for pretty much anyone who tries to jump on it. It's a really nice all mountain category board as well. You know, just thinking about the kind of riding that we do here in Whistler. It's indicative to both powder and to carving, but because it's got that sort of softer freestyle flex to it, you really can sort of take this board everywhere. And it's still super fun on those days where, you know, you might be dealing with slush snow or, you know, you're taking this board into the park. It's still pretty versatile overall for a little bit of everything. We're getting their centered base on here with a stone grind finish, nice and smooth, very fast holds a lot of wax, which is a nice thing. So as long as you keep it uh, waxed up, it's a great board for, you know, keeping your speed and holding momentum when you're on a cat track. Overall, there's about 12 millimeters of taper to this snowboard, which means the front end is wider than the tail by about 12 millimeters. That's just really going to encourage the board to initiate turns really nicely. It's a little bit looser getting that front end into the turn. And then because the board has that wider shovel, it's naturally just always going to float better in deeper snow conditions. There's a zero setback to this snowboard. So it's not actually poised that far back in its insert points, which makes it still feel nice and twin-esque for if you're trying to land things in switch. So who is this snowboard for? Well, it's really for the person who's looking for that free ride inspired shape. You know, someone who's maybe doing more carving and a little bit more powder riding, but it also makes for a great all mountain category snowboard. So if you're looking for one snowboard to do a little bit of everything and to handle all of the conditions that we have here at Whistler Mountain, this board is going to be 
a little bit of a quiver killer. You know, it can handle all conditions. So it's super versatile and open-ended. Pretty cool top sheet graphic on this guy as well. You're getting that half gloss, half matte finish. The silver really stands out and shines in the sunlight. And that black matted section just looks nice and classic, nice and traditional. I'm definitely getting some retro vibes off of the top sheet graphic. They're kind of trying to do this like 1980s race inspired theme. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's kind of like an old school graphic, but uh, yeah, stands out really nice and poppy. I think I prefer the silver this year over the gold from last season. So if you're that person who's just looking to jump on a board that's like an all rounder, great all mountain category board that's easy to carve on, floats well in deeper snow, but can still handle a bit of the park. You know, this is a great board for a little bit of everything. It's super versatile and uh, it would make for a great board to ride Whistler on. All right, guys, that's the Solomon Dance Hall. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it edutainmentical. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to check out this board, take a look at the links in the description. It definitely helps to support the channel and uh, keep us rolling on here with more snowboard reviews. Super impressed by this board. Really versatile, great board to do a little bit of everything. A really nice all mountain package. And don't forget, don't stop believing, hold on to that feeling, and we'll see you on the mountain. Yeah! <laughs>